I created this metallic pump look using a lot of metallic colors for the airbrush and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Today's makeup look is an editorial makeup look so it's for the camera it's not for an event so we have to really work on the skin we have to make sure that the foundation and contouring looks absolutely seamless so I'm starting by hydrating and adding some moisturizer you can also use a strobe cream if you want to create a more glowy skin and then adding a little bit of corrector and some liquid foundation now you want to make sure that whatever foundation you're using is not too cakey or too drying that is going to look very different on camera and look too made up and you can see once it's completely applied and powdered it looks very very settled on the skin and i did contour very mildly not too heavy because i don't want that very strong effect and the loose powder that i left is only because we're going to be doing the eye makeup which has a lot of bright colors and we don't want that to fall out not for baking and then i used a very very pigmented eyeshadow in purple and pink and the pink and purple is basically the base color before we start making patterns using the airbrush and you can see both the colors are extremely bright and really blended well together as once the airbrush is being used and it's applied, I can no longer blend anything under the airbrush as it's going to interfere with the whole look and I might have to redo it. So I used a glove net and I tore it up to make the pattern. You can use any other lace and you can just create patterns based on whatever you want. I used three colors, silver, blue and yellow because I thought they created beautiful contrasts and all the colors were really nicely visible using some silver on the inner corners and adding a very light amount of highlighter. I wanted to create a very, very dark lipstick, which would actually add to that very punk look that we aim to create as the makeup is fairly colorful and bright. This look of the lip will actually change the entire finish of the makeup. You have to make sure that the outlining is even whenever you're working with any dark lip colors. It is so important to fill in the lip, otherwise it can look very messy. And this is the metallic eyeshadow that I dabbed on top of the lipstick. You can see that it's sitting a lot better with the whole makeup rather than just leaving the lipstick completely black. And for the lashes, I also use these very, very light colored lashes, which were not black. So they weren't making the makeup look harsh. Even the eyebrows, I made them a little lighter than her natural shade and added some metallics on her cheekbones, on the eyelid and finished the whole makeup with setting spray. Working on editorials, we also have to make sure that the hairstyling is on point and I wanted to kind of add that extended look of the patterns extending to the hair so you can see that the gel back hair is perfect for adding patterns that i did on the face and i'm going to show you how the photo shoot was happening in the studio it was super cool and you'll see the final results of this photo shoot these were the images so guys i hope you learned something new today and i hope you like this video don't forget to share with me what you thought of it and like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting looks